Hey, troops, it's Roy from Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! Broadcasting from the Clintonville section of Columbus, Ohio. So, final trailer for the Joker drops. Um, and, and about, and not too, not too long afterwards, premiere at the Venice Film Festival. Yes, one of those artsy fartsy junkets. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so what's the difference between from all these others? Um, if memory serves, in some ways, it's a lot more like uh, Toronto Film Festival as opposed to Cannes. Um, Cannes is still a big deal because people show up, blah, 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 blah. Um, but from what I've read here and there, Cannes is not as much a giant frippin' party and woo as much as it is to actually, like, talk about movies and junk. <laughs> and it's at, actually, Toronto Film Festival is the one where all of a sudden people start seriously going, oh, you think they should have an Oscar? All right. <laughs> as opposed to Cannes where you're just going, can I get more booze? Please, way more booze. Don't stop. Um, the, it, it's interesting because, I mean, I, th I think we all kind of had a similar reaction when the announcement for Joker came out. We are like, oh, great, another Joker movie. Woo! I, I love the character. I'm a huge Batman fan, yada, yada, yada. Oh, God, another one? Really? Um, you know, it's, <laughs> Batman's got a huge rogues gallery. What the heck? Locking Phoenix is going to be in this. Oh, this got interesting really fast. <laughs> um, and, and on top of that, um, wow, I have an epic, epic, um, research fail on this. The dude who directed The Hangover Old School and Starsky and Hutch is directing this. Okay! <laughs> um, wow. And now that it's all done, who would have thought that you could throw all that stuff into a blender and hit it on, like, hit it on, you know, Warp 75 and go, we have a movie with lots of awards, time potential. <laughs> um... You know, from the first, the first trailer was just breathtaking. I mean, you know, you kind of, you know, the first press shots come out, and you know, you see Walking Phoenix when, with the whole clown outfit, like whatever, who cares? Um, in the first trailer, I, I think I, I just kind of went, dang. Now, I, I you know, I've, I've seen lots of Phoenix's other work, yada yada yada. So you know, the back of my head is going, shut the hell up. And also remember, remember Heath Ledger. So let's see what happens. And from that first trailer, saw it went, holy cow. Um, the final trailer that, that dropped last week. Um, wow. Um, one of the one of the interesting things. With, with the Joker is, you know, you, you get this mysterious, you know, after all these decades, okay, fine, so Tim Burton's movie gave him a name, and, you know, you've got the killing joke, which implies a lot of things which may not mean anything. Um, but, you know, the, always the, the mystery of who is he, what the hell happened? And that classic line from Killing Joke, where I'm paraphrasing here, you know, what happens when you get that one? And in this, you know, as the trailers have mounted, and you're seeing the the, the whole movie now. It, it, well, one of the issues. I'm sorry, this is kind of rambling all over the place, but <laughs> hey, um, the fact that oh, you know, it's not connected to that mythology. Da, 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 da. Okay, fine. Um, the idea, though, of what can take someone and turn them into this? And especially in this final trailer, seeing this guy and seeing, seeing his life just kind of explode and explode. And you know how 
you know that old the old adage when it rains it pours and this turns into deluge. Um, seeing, you know, you, you got the impression in the first trailer of of, of Joaquin Phoenix of weight loss and everything to become this character, and then you see it now, and it further emphasizes the. Wow, you went all Christian Bale, man! <laughs> wow. Um, and then you hear that laugh. And the realization that, wow, you got something frighteningly, frightening and dark and nightmarish. Um, you hear a lot of folk. Oh, now I've never, I've never seen The King of Comedy, um, but you hear a lot of folks make references to that. That film is from like back in the eighties. Um, Star Jerry Lewis and Robert De Niro, and De Niro was an up and coming. He was a wannabe stand up comic who was basically a stalker. Um, at a dangerous obsession with a stand up comp with a a um, late night TV host, ba ba you know, parallels with Johnny Carson played by Jerry Lewis, and if memory serves, what happens is he basically kidnaps. Um, Robert De Niro's character kidnaps Jerry Lewis' character to do a broadcast. At least that's one of the one of the things that happens in the, in the story. And to see all that played out again in this film, are there any kind of actual connections? Or is this the same reality? I don't know who the heck knows. Um, but to see that parallel played out again is really spooky. 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 Yeah, I'm going to sound like, like, like a Scooby-Doo. Um, it's really creepy as heck. Um, and then now, you know, and even with all that in mind, you know, wondering, okay, yeah, you know, trailers look great. So did Batman v Superman. <laughs> and then you hear the reaction, you know, and then, and then all of a sudden, you know, the, the, you start hearing the bits and pieces coming in. And it's not just for the executives of Warner Brothers, because... <laughs> We all have strong opinions of what happens when they see a movie and have an opinion about it or whatever. Um, but all of a sudden, bits and pieces of people going, and not in a, I spent how much money on this crap? Um, my editor made me watch this, why? Um, but a, wow. And, you know, if you've been poking around, poking around websites, eight minute standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival. Um, the Oscar award has been thrown around all over the place. Um, it's, um, it's insane. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, the, the reaction to the film at this point is, uh, talk about lightning in a bottle. Um, the, who, who would have thought? A film like this would just kind of plop the way this one has right now. Now, of course, this does beg the question as far as so are regular people gonna want to watch this thing? Well, that's a two part thing. Ah, uh, you, you know, there, the, the boy, the the issue that's being that's being reinforced by what the summer has done. Ah. Uh, the response is who knows. Um, because of giant tentpole, tol, tentpole films, because of you know, explosive um, um, event films, <laughs> like everything that Disney puts out these days to, to suck money out of everybody and leave crumbs just for everybody else. But that's another podcast. Um, smaller films, uh, which brings us to Joker. This is not an event film in a traditional sense with 20 million people caping cow and blah, blah, blah. It's an indie tragedy. Now, nonetheless, that does not mean there's no place for it in considering the momentum the film's create, generating. Hmm. And the good news is it's coming out in October. <laughs> so you got lots of time to kind of clear, clear out the shelf. And, and again, and for it to find to find a niche for itself, um, but nonetheless, are people waiting for Star Wars? Are people waiting for Frozen Two? And kind of going, got enough money to spend already on all this other junk. 
And of course, the other question, reaction from comic fans, because this is not a Batman story. Um, this whole thing's akin to what Chris Nolan did uh, with Batman. You know, he totally, no interest in capes and cowls and all the other, you know, um i you know the, the 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 nolan trilogy what made it so powerful is that it's a bruce wayne story it was never about that uh, i mean you know obviously about batman but it was never about hey what if you teamed up with superman and you know uh, legion of doom and all this other other stuff no he took all that stuff and went no we're not doing that um and focused on what drew him to the character you know what happens why why doesn't someone become batman because you can't you know, hypothetically, you could easily in the absolute destruction to yourself and your psyche and the world around you um, that could easily ensue. And you know, Phillips kind of took, you know, Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix kind of taking the same thing with this, I think, in a lot of ways. That you know, this isn't about Joker and oh, uh, all, all, all the other tropes from, from the superhero genre and tossing out the window, focusing on the tragedy. Oh, what happens? What drives someone just not to take a leap off the cliff, but you, get, you know, you get a flight suit and you glory in that free fall towards madness, chaos, and <laughs> seeing the world burn. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the pushback's going to be. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> see. Um, the good news for Warner Bros. It, 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 for, uh, for, for me, it's mixed news for Warner Brothers, AT&T, DC, whatever the cold giant mishmash is at this point. The good news is that it looks like this is working. Even, I mean, financially, of course, you got to make money off of this thing. Um, but <laughs> at least they're going, we need a movie that people like. Yes! Um, the bad news is schmucks like me and the rest of the biz are also kind of looking and going, Hey, isn't Birds of Prey coming out in February? Which I kind of forgot about that until, you know, been seeing little bits and pieces of news about trailers and test, test screenings and yada, yada, yada. And it's like, February, August. Please note, there is no trailer yet. Oh, wait, no, no, there is the teaser thing. That's right, that's right. Sorry, sorry. Um... You know, at, le at least for 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 Rise of Skywalker, Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, and uh, th this is the whole part of J.J. Abrams being all mysterious and woo, and uh, um, you know, that's just the way he does stuff. Um, this is, you know, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but I'll come back to it. Um, so what 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 what's my point is is that you know you know you know hooray hooray that the Joker is. is Excuse me, Joker is turning out to be a wonderful surprise. The bad news is that, unfortunately, it's a reminder that, hey, you realize that your you know your your competitors on the other side of the aisle have stuff planned out to you know you know <laughs> until until you know the end of time. <laughs> Y'all got how many movies coming out? Um, thank God, at least the Batman's actually being filmed. <laughs> uh, past that we're working on stuff yes I'm being a schmuck bringing that up but unfortunately that's the reality of this whole thing um, you know you, you changed the you changed the business model you went from trying to create a universe and copycatting Marvel the Marvel Cinematic Universe which it made sense of you since you're doing the whole cape and cow superhero thing, yada yada yada, and toss that out the window because that kind of blew up in your face. Um, but so you know you're trying to emphasize, well, we're going with creator, blah blah blah, driven things, which is actually in some ways what Marvel still does. It's just that they have Faggy going, <laughs> don't forget, you got to fit it in and all this stuff, and et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Um, you know, with with this thing where okay, fine, you want to kind of. Just have people just make stuff, which is cool, but so what's coming up next? <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, it's, was it October 6th, I think? Early October is when the sucker comes out in, you know, in, 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 in
We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, right now, reaction. And actually, even reaction, not not just artsy fartsy, you know, the type of reviewers that <laughs> fans like us hate because, you know, it's all artsy fartsy stuff. Um, fans from genre sites like comicbook.com, um, IGN. Um, the reaction has been, wow, in a good way. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we'll see. So anyway, um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, y'all take care. Enjoy your long weekend. Uh, may the force be with you. Uh, may the odds be in your favor, especially when you're still trying to create your giant comic book movie empire. <laughs> And as always, hey, be good to each other, KBs. Bye.